Hi, Coach Cole here. So one of the problems people have is they tell me, Cole, I'm hitting too many balls into the net. So what can I actually help? What am I doing wrong and how can I cure it? Well, very often, the most important thing is realizing that the net is three feet high and because we can look through it, we, we think we can hit through it, but we can't, it's an optical illusion. So one of the things too is we have to, so tennis, must you must be hitting quite a few feet over the net on a regular basis. Another two, thing too is your swing must come from below the ball at least 12 inches and then swing up to hit the ball on our ground strokes. So we want to always come from low to high. And that if you're not getting more underneath the ball with a closed racket face, Unfortunately, you're not going to get the elevation over the net. Very often when you're hitting a ball, and even if the racket face is vertical, and this is the ball, and you're hitting the ball up like that, even though the racket is vertical, there is a slight bit of friction which puts a little bit of elevation on the ball, and that's what helps us. So even when you come below the ball, even though the racket face is vertical, there is a little bit of upward elevation or trajectory given to the ball, which does help put a little shape on the ball, which helps the parabola type of shape when you're hitting it over the net. Another cure is very often you could be hitting the ball late. So typically, depending on your grip, if you're hitting more out in front, which is fine, but if you're a little bit late, that seems to be a problem. So try and actually activate your swing path a little earlier. What, what other things could happen if the ball's going in the net? You might be hitting too flat, so you want to get topspin. So you want to ask your pro or get a little brush on the ball coming from low to high that might help you get a little bit more elevation. So another thing some people do wrong is they take the racket too high on the take back. So they don't have enough time to get below the ball. So that could be one of the errors. Another thing too is some people have too much of a big back swing and it goes behind their body. We call that a tail. So therefore the swing path is across the body. The left shoulder pulls the shot across. And so there's a horizontal swing path there's no vertical swing path from low to high. So how would we fix a swing path that goes too long and pulled across? Well, very often we want to practice in a long, thin corridor. We try and keep our left hand on the racket a little longer, and then we'll try and have a small little circle. So we hold the left hand on the throat for the racket a little bit longer, so then we have a, a drop into the loop, we get underneath the ball and hit, that'll be helpful. The swing doesn't get too high because I know where the racket is because my left hand is holding the racket throat. Sometimes when we're watching the ball coming at us, we get distracted and before we know it, the racket is up here, but we still perceive the racket to be here, but we haven't realized that the racket has gone up. That also helps us keep the racket on the same side of the body and training in a small room or a thin corridor will really limit what you can do in practice swinging. And then you get a lot more rep, reps in and that'll be awesome. So I hope this has been helpful. Coach Cole, signing out.